In Christianity, there is a true story of seven young men who were buried alive but did not die and woke up 200 years later. The seven young men were named Maximilian, Martinian, Dionysius, John, Constantine, Iamblichus, Anthony. The story begins when the Roman Emperor Gaius Decius, who ruled from 249 AD, ordered the construction of a temple to the ancient Roman gods and goddesses in the city of Ephesus. Decius ordered to search all Christians in his territory and gave them two choices, namely worshipping idols or being put to death. Because they refused, the seven young men went before the emperor and were stripped of all their positions, but they were released in the hope that they would change their minds to obey Emperor Decius's orders. However, the seven young men from Ephesus remained firm, became Christians who believed in Jesus Christ, and ran away to hide in a cave on Mount Oklonos. They spent their time in the cave praying and fasting. Emperor Decius ordered the search for the seven young men to be brought to justice. Knowing that the seven holy youths were hiding in the cave, the emperor ordered the entrance to the cave to be blocked with stones, so that they would eventually die of hunger and thirst in the cave. However, God made these seven young men miraculously sleep for almost two centuries. God kept the seven holy young men alive, and they awoke from their sleep without realizing that they had been asleep for almost 200 years. Their bodies and clothing remained unchanged. During the reign of Emperor Theodosius II, around 447 AD, a landowner from the Mount Oklonos area decided to open the cave for construction purposes. When the large rock covering the cave was lifted, the seven young men woke up, feeling as if they had only slept one night. When they came out of the cave, they were surprised to find that the city of Ephesus had flourished, and what was even more surprising was the fact that Christianity had become the Roman state religion and Christians were no longer persecuted. One of the seven young men, Iamblichus, went to town to buy bread. He paid for the bread with ancient money bearing the image of Emperor Decius. The merchant rejected him because he was giving old money. They took Iamblichus to the city administrator, who at that time was the bishop of Ephesus. Listening to Iamblichus' strange answer, the bishop was amazed to find that God was revealing to him a mystery. So he and many other people went to the cave. At the entrance of the cave, the bishop took the sealed box and opened it. The box was a gift from two workers who were secretly Christians who closed the entrance to the cave. He read from the metal tablet the names of the seven holy youths and the story of their sealing in the cave on the orders of Emperor Decius. When they entered the cave and found that the young men were still alive, everyone rejoiced and realized that through their awakening from a very long sleep, God had revealed the mystery of the resurrection of the dead to his church.